<gasps> O-M-G. Hunter, Rehab Justin, Torture Taylor, and Kinda Torture Taylor will be there. <gasps> they're so hot! They make my girl parts feel like Christmas. And they're at the mall today! Oh, not that we can do anything about it. If we had a cannon, we could shoot ourselves out of here, like Torture Taylor did in Vampire Hotties 3, The Meaningful Brooding. That was hot. Sounds hot. It was hot. Hey! What are you doing with the cannon? Uh, losing self-esteem? That time. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Roxy, you look so goth. That's Trouble Justin's favorite look. <laughs> Wow, that's hot. <laughs> it is hot. So this is a mall. It looks just like I imagined. Hello, can you go? Well, now you know. The family drive to Kenoa's Dive. The next stop is Free Drop Little Town. <laughs> There's no escape. That's bad luck, so settle in. You're stuck. In Crash Canyon. Have a spasm makes no difference to the castle. Face the fact, you live in a crash. Crash Canyon. I'll get it. Ow! Why do stupid buildings need stupid walls anyway? Oh, hey, Lippy. What's this? An invitation to a party? A love note? A suicide note? No, no! Don't do it, Lippy! Lippy was gonna kill himself, but I'm pretty sure I talked him out of it. I guess we'll find out soon. Dear person who lives in my neighborhood and or acquaintance, in your hand is the announcement of an exclusive investment opportunity from Manderbelt Investments. Roxy, open your eyes wide. When's the last time you cleaned your contact lenses? I don't know, since before we got here. What? It's been months! Oh, God, that is disgusting. Well, take out your contacts right now. You can wear your glasses. Yeah, like I'm gonna wear glasses. Look at me. I'm wearing glasses. Uh... No way. I don't want people to think I'm smart. I want them to think I'm pretty. They're coming off now! <laughs> Come no! on, you! I may have to run your face under cold water. <clears throat> Get your grimy prescription plastic off my daughter's eyes! <sighs> hey, this hole's way better than the one I made to look in here. Listen, I hate to keep pushing, but is there any way we can move this to the bathroom? Hey, Norm, you want to make some money? Money? No, I hate money. Think I'll go for a walk. You can come with me, Vernon. If you're trying to move me, that usually takes five firemen or a Leo Sayers' greatest hits. When you need love, Leo, I'll be there. You beautiful, heart-wrenching son of a bitch. But if you're into it, let's go over to Reginald's to hear more about this investment opportunity. Norm, you're not getting involved in any investment scheme. I never said I was. Good, because you always lose money. That's not true. But what about the Espress Bee? <laughs> The fireproof matches? Safest matches you could buy. You never had to worry about kids getting hurt. Yay! Oh, why would they sell these? The musical cattle thing? It was called the U-Prod, and it was ahead of its time. I admit it, it's a weakness. I've always had this fantasy of making the right pick and hitting it big. I always had a fantasy. I could bully a pig into killing itself by jumping on a barbecue. Like Dr. Doolittle. By useful. Don't worry. We're just going because Bjorn will serve lingonberry juice and Verskovitz. The famous Scandinavian cookie. Fine. Norm, you can go and have cookies and juice, but no investing. Damn it. I'll come with. The Mandelbelts may be a good place to stash my poker winnings. And my cheatings. Okay, Jake. You can invest if you want, but no cookies and juice. Damn it. Uh. Oh, 
cookies. I wonder if they're any good. <laughs> It's okay! It's okay! This is how I want to go! Welcome to Manderbelt Investments. Thank you. I should tell you, I'm just here to listen, not to invest. Of course. I know investing can be difficult, certainly for your income level, but you should know I guarantee a 40% return. That's less than we started with! I think we've heard enough. You'll have to forgive my uncle. He's almost mentally handicapped. I'm curious. What exactly do you invest in anyway? Trash Canyon isn't a thriving economy. It's like a poor man's Mexico. I employ a foolproof proprietary strategy designed to make huge profits in the economic ecosystem using complex tools. Wow, that sounds pretty good. No, it sounds pretty vague. What tools would those be, specifically? Hey, there's someone who would love to play with you. play with this freak? I'll be quiet. I promise. No more questions. Kids, now, where were we? I believe you had just dictated to the emotionally stunted Norwegian that we are out of cookies. There's a second layer under the paper. <laughs> I'll repeat, out of cookies. What's that noise? Uh, nothing, dear. I'm just ice skating. It didn't sound like ice skating. It sounded like a knife. Are you? I don't know what you're doing, but I am not eating fruit. Invest with me, and soon you'll be able to do this. See how he just takes it? He has to, because he's poor like you, and I'm rich like you could be. Well, I'd like to invest, but I promise Sheila I wouldn't. Don't do it, Norm. I'm warning you. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pass. Let me guess. You're hearing Sheila telling you not to do this. She's over my left shoulder. Sheila, you need to trust your man and let him provide for you. She's not buying it. <laughs> Finally! That's one. Okay. When I get this second one off, you're gonna have to wear your glasses. I'm not wearing glasses. Besides, they broke. Remember the Dance and Mix 2000? Mom, my glasses broke! They fell into the Dance and Mix 2000! I hated that machine! Can't believe Norm invested in that company. Ugh. Don't take my word for it. Listen to my clients. Mandibelt! Investing done right! Want more teas? It's out of sight! Okay, I played your crap. Can you release the hostage now? If Coma Steve regains consciousness, he'll need to be rich to pay us for years of quality medical care. So we took all the money out of Coma Steve's pockets and invested with Reginald. That's why he's a client. Now we call him Co-Millionaire Steve. <laughs> I just want to be wealthy enough to flush away this useless crap. A man in a coma, a piece of wood, and a bear can't all be wrong. 40% returns guaranteed. So what do you say? I'm gonna do it. Great. Let's go check on the kids. I bet they're having a ball. So, after learning about it, now, educating myself about it, I think we should invest with Reginald. No. Roxy, let's get you some glasses. Oh, no more. Make the eating stop. Make it stop. She said no, but she means yes. She wants you to invest with me. Just ask her. Do it, Norm. Once you're rich, the real-life me won't be able to stop apologizing and having sex with you. Really? Apologizing? Ah! I'm sorry, Vaughn. I'm sorry! Hey. 
I'm ready to be a client. Congratulations. For once, I am not disgusted by you. Now, there are just a few documents to sign. <laughs> a lot of signing for a bag of teas. Oh, Whew. my wrist hasn't been this sore since I was 13. Norman, are you playing with that thing again? Yes, Mom. With all that twisting, it's a wonder you haven't broken it. Now, let me hold it. Yes, Mom. For the optometry factory that dumps all its waste in here. Those corrupt executives are saints. There's nothing here. Can we go? Honey, you're just saying that because you're blind. There has to be a pair of glasses here somewhere. But they'll make me look stupid. <gasps> hey! This is what eye doctors use to make glasses. Try it. Uh... Number one or number two? Number one or number two? Uh, number one? Well, I was gonna be number one, but thanks to all your damn questions, I can't concentrate. Colton Jr., we're leaving. This is so lame! OMG! I can see! Hand me that mirror! Oh, I'm even more beautiful than I remember. So, we thought you could take the lenses out of this and put them in frames for Roxy. But something stylish, not like how you dress, no offense. How much you think it'll cost? I'll be straight with you. I'm gonna give you a lowball figure to get hired, and then by the time we're done, I'll charge you two or three times my original estimate and take twice as long to finish. So, how much will it be? 150 T's? Seriously? Normie, we don't have a choice. We'll just dig into the rainy day fund. Sure, we could do that. But we're not living in could, thank God. Because everything in could is overpriced. And everyone in could thinks they're happy, but they're really miserable because they could be getting ripped off all the time. Really? The could speech. I thought we agreed to stop using that. That was the should speech. Totally different. I can make the glasses myself for free. You do a lot of ologies, Norm, but ophthalmology isn't one of them. Earl will do it. No! I've always wanted to make a pair of glasses. Don't take this dream from me. Funny, I've never once heard you mention that before. It's a new interest. New interest keep a person interesting. You didn't invest our rainy day fun with Reginald, did you? <laughs> of course not. I'd never invest our money without your permission. <laughs> Workbench. Here you go, kiddo. What is this? Your new glasses. Pretty cool, huh? Beep, beep, beep. Get that tractor beam out of commission yet, R2? I don't speak nerd, but that sounds like an insult. Uh, uh, you can see. Norm, she can't wear that. Are you kidding? She looks great. Okay, I'll go to Earl tomorrow and get him to make some decent glasses. You can't. Can't breathe. Somebody help me. Why not? What could possibly keep you from seeing that your daughter deserves better than this? Fine. Go see Earl tomorrow. Jake, we're going for a walk. Smooth. Black. Captain of industry. Sorry to interrupt, Reginald but I'm gonna need all my teas back. <laughs> Not possible. Your teas are invested. In what? I only gave them to you a few hours ago. They're invested. You signed documents. You can't get them back. Ebony, Titan, master of commerce. Hey, Jake, if you see a cage like this lying around, don't try and get the dead squirrel out of it. It's a trap. <laughs> Kill me. I won't have those teas back for days. I don't think you're getting them back. You've been scammed. <laughs> what? He promised a 40% return, Jake. Are you telling me a con man would say that if it wasn't true? Dad, 
first rule in the con man handbook is don't answer any questions. And Reginald didn't answer any of mine. There's a con man handbook? It's more of an almanac, but you get the picture. Reginald is running a scam. <gasps> oh, God. And I fell for it. Your mother's right. I'm no investor. Oh! Oh, Reginald won't get away with this. Come on. Vernon can help us. Not in my experience. Look at you. How do you live with yourself? You're fat, homely, and you have no prospects. Is it any surprise you're alone? I wonder what the popular pigs are doing tonight. What are you doing? Planting the seed, my boy. Planting the seed. <laughs> Vern, we need you. We're breaking into Reginald's and stealing back my teas. And the cookies. Fine, we'll steal the cookies, too. And the juice. Those are my terms. Okay, we'll steal the cookies, the juice, and my teas. In that order. Vernon, I asked you not to take the dance and mix with you. Deal with it. I like my spy music smoothies. I think it was like that before. I can't see a thing. No problem. It also has a disco ball. I don't know why this thing failed. It's a party in a blender. Will you cut it out? I can't see the tease anywhere. Dad, look! It's just like that movie where they follow the money. I never saw it, but still, seems like good advice. Oh, honey, don't cry. That is what you're doing, right? I can't ever go out in public again. Roxy, you still have more style and charm than anyone I know. You need to know that and go face the world. I can't because I have a giant eye doctor machine strapped to my head. <laughs> you have Turn off the blender. It's not on. Oh, we found them. They have almost every tea in town. I was talking about the cookies. I'm in. Hello, gentlemen. And Vernon. I want my teas back. I told you. You can't have them yet. <coughs> <coughs> You gonna give me my teas, or does Vernon need to shove another box of cookies in his mouth? Trust me, you don't want to know what I ate before the cookies. Ham. It was ham. Fine. Bjorn, give the man his teas. What's Bjorn doing with all the teas anyway? It's my economic tool. Bjorn grinds each tea into sawdust. Then we use the sawdust to make two smaller teas. That doubles the number of teas, and after I take my cut, the investor gets his return of 40%, as promised. Wow, that's impressive. And that's coming from a guy who spends his time screwing people out of their money. Thanks for the help, buddy. No problem, Dad. Be a shame if Mom found out. Be a shame if I found out what? Well, thanks for telling me the truth. I know how hard it was for you to get the teas back. Mwah. And thank you for being so understanding and not killing me. Mwah. And now we can get Roxy your glasses, and she can stop looking like a special needs cyborg. The most dangerous kind. Hi, Earl. We'll take those glasses now. <laughs> yeah, about that. Remember when I told you it would be 150 teas? Well, now it's a whole lot more. What? Why? Prices went up 40% after everyone got rich from investing with Reminald, uh, Reginald. The black guy. A tea just doesn't go as far as it used to. Since everyone's rich, it's okay if I raise my prices, right? Seems only right. Why not? I'd be insulted if you didn't. Everybody that invested is up 40%. And everyone invested! Everyone but us. We're poor. Oh, God! That's the worst thing you can be! <laughs> <laughs> Hardly. I, Dr. Strap-on Freak, that's the worst thing you can be. Now I'm gonna have to wear this thing forever. Maybe a little music will change the mood. Roxy! Roxy! Roxy!
see. I can see. OMG! I can see! Must have been some sort of laser surgery from the strobe light. It's a miracle! A very unlikely yet convenient miracle! Ha! I knew God didn't want me to be a horrible freak. But we are freaks, the poorest people in the canyon. Oh, Jake, as long as we have each other and we're all healthy, we'll never be poor. That's exactly what poor people tell each other! <laughs> swimming together after dark. That ain't right. You and me do that all the time, and we ain't got no baby. That's because we was using different bathing suits. Ah, you're as dumb as I am. Dad, where all does a baby came from? Right, eh? Boys that age, curiosity sneaking up on you like a wombat's mother swimming in lager. <laughs> So, this is clock, right? Well, it runs in love, so bloke gets two ham knockers out of a notion of what the birds call a pillow filler. Now, the bird, right, she needs to feel right fancy, the bloke ends up with a dustbin full of wobbly in a crib, no point in setting up. Heart and soul, spinning like a cartwheel in a fisherman's house on a day after payday. And that's right bit of broken biscuits there. So, the bird, right, she's all one and scaply, so is a dancing, right? So when she jumps up with the two pence and the beggar's hat and tells her mate she's in for the weather to change up there, after that it's no more than a toss of a scrub brush, a bit of kiss the mailman for directions and putting the glasses on the back nose of the surveyor, if you know what I mean. <laughs> 